Hey church, thanks for your patience and taking the time this morning to engage with church via video instead of in person. Today is a great example of why we're excited to announce that after years of prayer, patience, and perseverance, we will be moving into our own facility. Isn't that awesome? March 19th will be our first Sunday morning church service in, well, in here, in this building, right here, right here in this sanctuary. And I can't wait to show you around so that you can use our imagination, so we can use our imaginations as we dream about how we're going to use this space to mobilize our church to make a difference in our generation. You know, the last three years have been tough. Let's be honest, they've been, it's been hard as hell. But the church continues to push down the road because God's because of God's protection, provision, and your perseverance. You know, God protects because we are up against the gates of hell. However, Jesus promised us that the gates of hell would not prevail. This is why it takes a brave group of people to persevere because the world needs a brave church, needs a brave family to be a part of. You know, God calls us to walk in faith with the confidence that he will protect protect, provide, and empower us to build. And so how do we build in this next season? Well, Peter tells us in 1 Peter chapter 2, we're going to build stone by stone. Check this out, verses 4 through 5. He says, you are coming to Christ, who is the living cornerstone of God's temple. He was rejected by people, but he was chosen by God for great honor. And you are living stones that God is building into his spiritual temple. What's more, you're his holy people. And through the mediation of Jesus Christ, you offer spiritual sacrifices that please God. Now, you might say, JJ, this passage is talking about people fitting together as a spiritual temple, not a physical building. And I would just say, exactly. The building, this building is simply a tool that Jesus empowers us to use to build the family of God. Shishel says it the best this way. She says, just like a house doesn't make a family, a building doesn't necessarily make a church. It's you and I that are the church, the family of God. The building is just a tool that we use uh, to build the real church. Just like a house for a family, it helps to bring security, a place of gathering and celebration, a place for the family members to grow up in. And listen, if we can keep this perspective, there's no limit to what God can do through us. Now, I love the picture Peter gives us of stones fitting it together. This is a picture of unity. Jesus is our foundation, and we are each being fit perfectly together to play our individual parts in his bigger picture. It's a beautiful beautiful picture of unity. You know, when I was 18 years old, I went on a Whitewater River trip. And one day when we were paddling, everything was chill. We are you know, calm water, and we finally come up to an aggressive set of rapids that were extra aggressive because of the rain that year. And the boat that went before us flipped over. People were being rescued. It was chaotic, and it was a little traumatic, honestly. And our guide steered us into a calm area of water to give us some direction and said that if we had any chance to make it through this set of rapids, that we needed to all work together. And as soon as he said, go that each one of us needed a paddle as hard as we possibly could. And then he looked each one of us in the eye and told us individually using our names to paddle. It's Andy, you paddle. And Pat, you paddle. And Shelly, you paddle. And Eric, you paddle. And JJ, you paddle like your life depended on it. And it just emphasized the seriousness of the situation that we were in to each of us. We approached the dangerous set of rapids, and just before we dropped in, our guide said, go! And we all started to paddle like our lives depended, I mean, as hard as we could. And you know, the rapids grabbed us for a moment. We kept paddling after what seemed like an eternity. All of a sudden, boom, we pop out on the calm water. And that experience, it taught me that unity starts with you. It starts when you pray, when you bring someone to church, you worship, when you say, I'm not gossiping, when you start paddling, when you don't wait for everyone else to start because it starts with you and I. Listen to what Peter says in verses 7 through 10. He goes on to say, yes, you who trust him recognize the honor God has given him. But for those who reject him, the stone that the builder rejected has be now become the cornerstone. And he is the stone that makes people stumble, the rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they do not obey God's word. And so they meet the fate that was planned for them. The, yeah, the plan that the enemy has for them if they don't obey 
obey God. And he goes on to say in verse 9, but you are not like that for you are a chosen people. You are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. Do you hear the thread through that? Do you hear the you thread through that? Well, how's, how are we going to build in this next season? Stone by stone. And it starts with unity. You are the living stones. You and I is how we are going to build. And we're excited for this next season of our church. As a matter of fact, it feels like God is up to something special in the earth, not just at our church, but for people all over the place. And if you're watching this and not a part of our church, hey, that's okay. But don't you want to be a part of an authentic outpouring of God's spirit? I know I do. It starts with what God wants to do in you and I. But for right now, hey, grab your paddle, because just like my river guide, it feels like God is getting ready to say, go! A couple things are coming up. On March 19th, there's two things that are going to happen. First, we're going to have our very first church service here in the new building with a new church service time. It's going to be 11 a.m. And second, we're going to become Brave Church. We're going to make the leap into our new name. Listen, if you're a member of our church or you believe in what God is doing here and want to give, you know, there's two ways that you can give. You know how to do it. You can go to the website, westsidemovement.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, click contribute, or you can text your giving. Just text the amount you want to give to the number 84321. Follow the prompts. It's a very safe, effective way to do it. And also, hey, listen, pray for us. That as we go on this great adventure together, God will be glorified and will be with us. Listen, we love you. God bless you guys. My prayer is that you have an awesome week.